protesters with Detroit Action started their protest here in front of the Spirit of Detroit. Then they headed down Woodward and over to Congress. They took their protest in front of the Buell Building. Their message is simple. Stop evictions until after the pandemic. Only no one knows exactly when that will be. For now, Detroit Action says the priority needs to be keeping Detroiters in their homes. If not, they say... That means a lot of more homeless people. We have enough in the city as it is. With a lot of folks in the city of Detroit struggling uh, with foreclosures, with uh, rental evictions, so we want to extend that moratorium. It ended after August 15th. And the problem with people not being able to make rent doesn't only impact tenants. You can't just not pay the landlords. They've got their own mortgage payments to make and, and their own bills. Uh, on the other hand, if you can't afford to pay your rent, it's not likely they have another tenant coming in behind you. Detroit's landlord compliance ordinance requires homes or apartments to be up to code before any tenant is evicted. For those facing evictions, the city has resources to help, including DetroitEvictionHelp.com and a hotline. The numbers we see now suggest that rent payment levels are still fairly high, um, that those numbers are starting to slide a bit. Housing attorney with the Michigan Poverty Law Program, Jim Shaftsma, says that's both in terms of tenants not paying rent at all or making partial payments. Here we are September 1, so It'll be very telling what happens um, this month with rent payments. A link to those resources for both landlords and tenants facing uncertainty right now can be found on our website, WXYZ.com. There's also information on there on the state's eviction diversion program, which landlords can opt into. Reporting in Detroit, Jen Shantz, 7 Action News.